Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we were at the Zoppo launch event in New Delhi, where the company launched its first phone for India, the Speed 7. Now this one comes with a 5-inch 1080p IPS display. You have 3 gigs of RAM on the device, MediaTek MT6753 octa-core processor powering the smartphone. 4G LTE support with dual SIM connectivity is also available on the device. So let's have a look around the device first and then we'll talk about the rest of the things. Coming to the right, you have the power lock and lock button as well as the volume rocker. At the top, 3.5 audio jack. And you can see these chamfered edges. These are actually made out of plastic again. You have the microphone and micro USB port at the bottom. At the back, you have a 13 megapixel camera, LED flash and the speakerphone right there. The build is actually nothing to write home about. It is just all right. The back cover is a bit flimsy but doesn't flex that much when on the phone. You can see the dual SIM card slots and the micro SC card slot right up top. Overall, the build is just about decent. It doesn't feel cheap, but yes, this phone is actually quite light, given that it houses a 2500 mAh battery. At the top, you have a 5 megapixel camera, proximity and light sensors, and you have on-screen buttons. You can see that Zopper branding at the bottom. The bezels at the top and bottom of the display are slightly larger, given that this phone has on-screen buttons. The display has decent color reproduction again. It seems a little washed out. It's not that color rich. But the viewing angles are quite wide. Coming to the camera with 13 megapixel rear camera, there is visible shutter lag over here. It does take a little bit of time to capture images and focusing also does take a little bit of time. The front facing camera again is all right. I did notice a little bit of pixelation and a little bit of noise, even though there was adequate amount of lighting. The rear camera however performed a bit better. Now, the software that the phone is running on is Android 5.1 without any major customization. It's quite stock. You just have almost a customized launcher. Other than that, you can see the notification toggles right up top again. Little bit customization. You have hot not support baked in as well. User accounts or user profiles are not available over here. Now, this one is running on Android 5.1 Lollipop right out of the box. That's actually good to see. Now, you have about 10 odd gigs available out of that 16 gigs of internal storage that is available on the device. 2 gigs of RAM are free out of the 3 gigs that this phone actually has. So there's plenty of free RAM for multitasking. And then again, a stock UI definitely helps in that aspect. There are some gestures baked in as well. You can move around the interface by just waving your hand and you can change tracks as well. It is a bit wonky, doesn't always work all the time, at least in the samples that we have seen. You have double tap to wake and you can draw several characters to open up different apps like a C for the camera. Performance is decent on the device, but this has been priced at rupees 12999. So 13,000 bucks available exclusively on Snapdeal, at least online. It has to compete with the Xiaomi Mi 4, the Moto G3, Galaxy J5. So there's a lot of competition in the market. And Zoppo being a relatively not that well known a name, will have a tough time selling these phones, at least at the start. But Zoppo has partnered with Adcom for its distribution and service. So we'll see how this pans out. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions about this or any other device, do it us in the comment section. And as always, have a great day.